It's been a crazy couple of weeks, guys, and as much as I love traveling, I'm really glad to be home. I missed my room, I missed the regular vlog format, I missed you guys, and I'm really stoked to see this community growing every single day. It's lit. <laughs> How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now for any of us who've done any type of social media marketing, we know how powerful hashtags can be on platforms such as Instagram and Twitter. So now finally in 2018, YouTube decided it's time to keep up with the trend. Which is great because every hashtag creates a new place for your videos to be discovered, especially increasing discoverability for young creators. Now in case you don't know how hashtags work, you pretty much just add them to your content and each of those hashtags links you to a page with all the content that shares the same hashtag. Which means for example someone now uploads a video says photography tutorial and then they're curious to see what other videos are in that category so they click on it and they see my video which also has say hashtag photography tutorial. Now Instagram has a 30 hashtag limit, YouTube will have a 15 hashtag limit which means 15 separate pages where people can find your video. That's totally awesome isn't it? Now that being said popular one word hashtags for example hashtag photography will be taken over by the biggest channels. And because one word hashtags are so popular the chances of you showing up on any of the first 10 pages of someone's search is very unlikely. So like any other SEO, you should be focusing on long tail hashtags, which means hashtags which are comprised of three, four, or more words. Of course, the search results on them will be a lot lower than the popular one word hashtags, but then your discoverability is much higher because less people think of those long tail hashtags. So for example, instead of tagging my video hashtag how to and hashtag lens ball and hashtag photography, I would combine them all into say, hashtag how to lens ball photography. And instead of 100,000 searches, I may only get 10,000 searches on that word, but because only my video and maybe a handful of others are there, I'm discovered a lot easier. Okay, now adding a hashtag to your YouTube video is as easy as including it inside your title or inside your description. Note that you can only have one hashtag in the title and up to 15 hashtags in the description. If there is no hashtag in the title, your first three hashtags from the description will be listed above the title of your YouTube video. Unless, of course, you have a geotag, which takes precedence over your your hashtag. So your next question might be, should I display my top three hashtags or the hashtag in the title or my geotag? But in reality, it makes no difference. Your video will rank on all the search pages of all the hashtags which I listed in your description. And where they appear visually is just up to your preference. If you want to link some of your videos together in a series, try to take a really unique hashtag, for example, Ilya stole this hashtag, and put it in all of your titles or descriptions. That way, when someone clicks on one of them, it will take them to all your other videos. But that's kind of the same as having a series playlist on YouTube. And make sure you don't create forbidden hashtags, which are no spaces, no overtagging, no misleading content, no harassment, no hate speech, no sexual content, no vulgar language, and no non-hashtag, whatever that means, but you can go ahead and read it in the YouTube rules. This feature is still rolling out on the web and on mobile, and apparently it's not yet available on iOS, but I wouldn't know because I don't have an iPhone. If you have any questions, fire away in the comments, and as always, I'm going to see you guys next week.